Hello everyone, this is TSET ABCD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. So playing the base game for my Road to Top 10 series, I am in the third position here. Yeah, yeah not a lot of ore. So based on that, I think uh, 834 is a pretty decent pick. I am surely looking at something like 694 as my first placement, grabbing the best ore, the best sheep and the best wood. 659 can also work, but then maybe I have to give up on ore. But I think orange goes for 659 here. And then I think white here has a very strong setup with 8510, 8510 as well. So maybe I don't go for 659, I go for 8510 and try and get to the brick port. But if I go for 8510, the problem is I think white in that case just goes for 694, 8510 and then I am left without any wheat on this board. Without wheat, without a lot of ore. So yeah, based on that, I don't think 8510 is too good. I mean, orange is thinking quite a bit. I'll be more than happy to go for 659 here because me being in third position 659 is not only like the highest production spot but also very flexible um yeah and i'm not sure if pointing to the right is a good option because any bloody who any yeah does go for 659 One more option that I have here is, do I consider going for 8510 here? Because if I go for 8510, it is white who is left without any strong wheat spots. And then I can either pair it up with something like 694 or 8510, 834. So I do have some flexibility with my setup in that. Uh, scenario. Yeah, I think I'll go for it. So white goes for 694 and then I think 8510 with the access to the brick port, I think that's the most flexible setup. I don't think anybody will be going for 912 here. So I'm actually considering something like 6, 11, 12 point to the left. I know I'm leaving something like 834 open for orange, which is a very, very strong production spot. But then I just play a ore wheat cheap game with a lot of wheat available. Yeah, I think I'll go for it. Might not be the best setup. Okay, so here, I mean, I don't think I'll be fighting for the ore uh, tile or the ore port. 
I am more focused on the 3 to 1 port and getting to the wheat port. I would require a 12 to roll or get a trade for break. Yeah, maybe I can trade with white. A wheat for break is an option. Okay, let's see. completely disregarding the trade that white has to offer. Okay, I do get it. So a six will basically give me a very, very strong port. Yeah, here the lack of sixes is a little bit of a worrisome. You are not going to get any trades. I'm, I don't think I think red is a little too worried about my setup, whereas white setup is directly better. Yeah, but now I mean, white has to be a permanent block for me. Yeah, still no sixes in this game. And the thing is, if I roll a seven, it only hurts me. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a difficult game. Maybe I offer a two is to one. Or else, I mean, I can just do a 4 is to 1, at least secure the 3 is to 1 port here. Let's see. Yeah, these, I mean, at this point, it's just one sided. Uh, I don't think anything can be done about these rolls. I will get a break from white. So I think it is a good trade for me. Let's see. Again, just trying to get a settlement on the port. I don't think so anybody wants to accept it. Yeah, and here 
एट और मे बी द सिक्स वोट गेट्स ब्लॉक्ड आई एम नॉट श्योर बट आई बिलीव आई विल बी द टारगेट विच इज़ अनफॉर्चुनेट बिकॉज आई डोंट फील लाइक आई एम इन अ स्ट्रॉन्ग पोजिशन ओके टारगेट्स रेड एटलीस्ट दैट इज सम रिलीफ Maybe plays a knight and doesn't even play a knight, but that's the first six of the game. So yeah, I'll just get my settlement. Let's see if I get a trade here. Either one of these trades, and I get access to the three to one port. I mean, this is fine as well, right? Yeah, so now my wheat port is very very strong, but it's still a little difficult to make a lot of progress. I'm surprised white isn't focused on getting dev cards or cities, but it is what it is. Here, I believe the six wood might be targeted or the nine wheat. Okay, solo blocks white. At least these sevens are good. Yeah, don't think I can do much. So, oh, that twelve is excellent. Maybe I can get a settlement on nine ten. Yeah, trades very quickly with white. So, I mean, with these cards in hand, there is not a lot that I can do, right? I can build two roads. and i think that is a right move here it keeps me in the fight for the longest road as well although i don't think so it's a Yeah, I mean, maybe I should have converted all my sheep into an ore because I think getting a city would be my next objective. Yeah, here. Let's see another eight. Hopefully, I can roll a seven. I like, mean, and then I will target the four or steal from white. Although, 
Yeah, red has three dev cards as well, so that is also a little scary. Okay, I don't roll a seven. I mean, I can get a settlement here. Let's see if I get a trade with orange. I mean, I have the three to one port, so. Yeah, so now tens and nines are extra strong for me, but. <sighs> yeah, white is almost on eight points now. Yeah, unblocks the 10, a 10 rolls there. I need another couple of 10s to roll though, just so that I can get a city. Okay, I do get a 1 is to 2, which is pretty good. I mean, that is true. Red has army locked up for sure. Here, I mean, it's difficult for me to get a city, right? Maybe I just do a... Something like this, get a couple of ores and end my turn. I will hold on to these cards and just try and get a city. I mean, if there is a monopoly in play, it is what it is, right? Because buying dev cards for me does nothing. I need to get a city just to be in the game at this point. Because I don't think so I'm getting army or road. I am building to 10. I mean, yeah, maybe I have to focus on connecting as well. I mean, my first focus is to still get a city, right? Okay, at least for now, orange has the row. Okay, yeah, this is just unfortunate. I mean, I need a wheat or an ore and an eight did roll. Okay, I do get the wheat that I'm looking for. Okay, with the, I mean, the 12 is useful. If a 10 rolls, I can connect and maybe take road. Okay. I mean, I will accept it because I think I will build two roads here. I need to build four roads this turn. Not sure if anybody can help me though. I 
I mean, let's see. Okay, uh, if Orange is willing to give me two breaks, I'll go for it. So I've been able to extend the game here. Yeah, the focus is now on red for sure, but I mean, a single eight and a six basically gives a lot to white or light blue. Yeah, these eights have been a little one sided. Has to play a monopoly. I mean, it's a forced monopoly. It's not something that helps red. I can I can completely understand. Like red had to play the monopoly. There's no point in holding a monopoly and uh, ending the game. Yeah, I'm just making sure that my 8 wheat isn't blocked. Okay, plays a knight. So at least we make sure that blue cannot, light blue cannot extend. Red gives me one word that doesn't help me much, right? I mean, I'll just extend it. There's not a lot that I can do. Yeah. I mean, red anyways just gets a knight and wins the game. <laughs> the tie stats is just one side. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe eights and fives. Fives do not even help red. Red did not get a city, he just bought dev cards and won the game. Yeah. End up on the second position, but then...
Yeah, I don't think there is a lot that I could have done differently this game. Eight for help. Maybe I get a city a lot earlier. But apart from that, uh, it's. Yeah, I'm still not sure. I'm just thinking how Red won this game. Like, how did Red buy those many dev cards? Like, what were the roles that helped him? Three, fours. Actually, three is very strong, right? Gives him three ores. But with threes and eights rolling, it was not like threes and eights were rolling. It's just three threes. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's see the resource card stats. Yeah, lots of wheat, I had it, and then brick, via blue had it, or light blue had it. Yeah, makes sense. So I lose this game. A pretty short game. Let's take a look at the leaderboard now. Where does this game put me? I think I was like uh, around 450 and with this game I'm still at 484 so anyway uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye